Great expectations against a formidable foe to begin the season. The Washington Mystics squared off against the New York Liberty in a game that never left the Mystics' favor. Final score was 80-64 to 64 as it's all smiles from the ladies here down in Southeast D.C. at the Entertainment and Sports Arena. Wes Hall joined with Chastity Melvin here on Post Game Live. Chas, uh, let's be candid with the folks who are going to watch this show here. We'll be joined by Ariana Freeman here in a minute along with Brittany Sykes and, of course, Eric Tebow as promised. But, Chas, I want your thoughts on the beginning of this Mystic season. What did you see from this performance? And can they even improve on this final score that they put up tonight? Well, their, their defense was great yeah I mean they didn't lose their defense at <laughs> capabilities all. at all and Brittany Sykes just added to that they posed a lot of problems they disrupted the pace that New York Liberty wanted to play with in the half court and in the transit and in the transition game indeed so um, that's that was what we saw tonight there are a lot of things they probably can improve on in the half court offense but they were able to get out and run and dominate get downhill and attack the paint and get wide open shots. You're talking about defense. We're looking at the fact that not only did Washington control the score, they had a 24-point lead at one point and, oh, by the way, created 22 turnovers against the Liberty tonight. Did you just notice there was a certain energy about the intensity on defense tonight, whether it was Brittany Sykes, Natasha Cloud with that big block right there. They always usually say it takes you know the defense a little bit longer to come to come together. Tonight that wasn't the case. They were all on the same page. They were all on the same page defensively, and what they what they did when they couldn't get block shots, they just still had their hands up. Yeah. The help defense was always there, even when Sandy came out with a, a new play for New York Liberty. Yeah. The help side defense came over and, and disrupted and got their hands in the passing lane. So Shakira Austin did it once. Yeah. Brittany Sykes did it. Ariel Atkins was all over the place. So again, their defense just won the game for them tonight. One of the things that we were when we were watching the game, we could just know that you talk about the help side defense, but the intensity on ball. There weren't a lot of shots that the New York New York Liberty were able to find clear looks at the glass. Yes, Sabrina Ionescu led the scoring tonight with 18 overall, but she struggled at times to find a clear look at the backboard. When Ionescu scored, she scored difficult baskets. She did yeah. get open a couple of times where she had found herself wide open, but other than that, Vandersloot, Stewie, John Quill Jones, they all had saw a hand in their face yeah. and they had to shoot contested shots all night obviously when you look at the box score you see there are a lot of negatives for new york liberty Fair. and a whole lot of positives on the other side for we the love Boston positives <laughs> we love positives around here matter of fact i want to go to megan mcpeak and christy winter scott and get their breakdown on what they saw tonight after the big call thanks Wes. christy when you look at this win you get the first one off the board you've mm -hmm. got 39 more what did you like about the way they performed tonight and their identity in this one i love the defense i mean it was all about the defensive energy and effort and focus i thought that they were on a string i thought that there were not that many miscues i thought that they were all on the same page and when you have that kind of energy and effort and focus on the defensive end great things happen on offense and we saw that as well we saw avalanches and continuity and rhythm on the offensive side, whether it was in the quarter court or in the fast break where they applied force and pace, 16 to 2 advantage in fast break points. That's indicative of a great defensive team. So they did what they had to do. They disrupted New York. They blew up plays. They blew up that single double action and those pin downs trying to get Sabrina Ionescu downhill. She wasn't able to do that. She got her shots on broken plays. So you'll give those up. You just want to take away the strengths of your opponents. And that's exactly what Washington did tonight. They took away the strengths of what New York wanted to do. And that was to set up the two-man game. And they didn't allow them to do that. They also turned New York over 22 times when you talk about that defense and what they're able to do. So now you quickly get to go on the road to Uncastle, Connecticut, and take on the Sun, who you will then see again at home. What are you expecting? We know offense can travel, but can the defense travel to Connecticut? It has to. I mean, Stephanie White, she's back coaching in the WNBA. She took the Indiana Fever to the finals several years back, so she understands what the defensive effort is going to look like from Washington, and she's looking to counter that. But I think defense definitely travels and Washington has taken great pride in that last year and that's carried over to this year as well. Wes as we go back to you and Chastity. Thank you very much Megan we appreciate that we talk about defense but look at what they did tonight offensively with the largest season opening winnings in free franchise history tonight made it in the fifth place with 16 points they had that lead after the third quarter remember 
Jazz, they were up 13 at the half. There were a lot of expectations for this to be a rather intense and close game, but Washington showed offensively they are a challenge to be matched with. Natasha Cloud, Ariel Atkins, both with 14 points, EDD with 13, and oh, by the way, Panda, Chrissy Tolliver, welcome back to D.C. She puts up 10 <laughs> points off the bench, and let me make sure I get this correct. 12 minutes. Come on. 10 points in Come on. 10 points in <laughs> You knew where I was going. Hey, like. look, AJ nothing but a number. Thank you. Time ain't nothing but a thing. <laughs> Welcome back to her. The same thing with you. You come back in this building, you see how and how clamoring the fans were for a great basketball. They've been wanting to see this team on the court. They were happy to see you come back as well, so you're our good luck charm. But looking at the offense of this team, there was questions about how fast they could all get on the same page, and we saw it was never a question. The Mystics stayed in control all night. The Mystics stayed in control, and in, in the professional game, if you can get easy baskets mm. in the WNBA, yeah. look, you get, you're going to have a good night. But across the board, they had positive e everywhere. Uh, you almost, I mean, close to triple-double efforts with, e like, Natasha Cloud, Brittany Sykes, right here, Elena Del Deladon, stretch, point forward. And this, look, the game, they never looked back after that M1 early in the first half. That's why I said the sticks came out after this. Brittany Sykes getting downhill, finding Christy Tolliver. And she knocks it down. Christy Tolliver knocking down two of her four three-pointers tonight. You see Sykes getting the transition going. The kick aheads, transition open. Tiana Hawkins with the rim run there. Easy baskets. Speaking of Hawk, Tiana Hawkins had eight points tonight as well. You talk about everybody being on the same page. Shakira Austin. Nice performed. reverse layup. And there. you know what I love about her performance tonight? Yeah, she had six points in 24 minutes, but there was no overuse. Remember, she spent the offseason overseas winning some championships, by the way. But I loved Eric's rotations tonight. Everybody got a chance to get on the court. Even Lee Mung got in there at the end of the game as well. But everybody knew the assignment, right? They knew the assignment. Speaking of Lee Mung getting in there, she came in and got a deflection. Right, right. when they thought they were going to get the big girl, the basketball underneath, she came in and got a deflection. So they understand the assignment. And assignment is defense first. Yes. Offense, if, offense is going to come. When you have 22 turnovers on your home court against what some would say would be one of the top two teams in the league, what type of confidence is are they having right now in this locker room? Because Brittany Sykes is going to be joining us here in a bit, and I can't wait I'm, to I'm ask her the same question. <laughs> hey, listen, there was a lot of talk about the Liberty's big three tonight, mm -hmm. and we, the Mystics showed us they're the showstoppers. Yes. They were the showstoppers tonight. Yes. You know what <laughs> I find? Close. Well, you know what's so crazy about that is that's a message to everyone that there's no stage too big. There's no lights too big. This is a sold-out home opener, season opener here down in Southeast D.C., yes. and I'm looking forward to that momentum continuing throughout the season. But I have to admit, there was a missing piece. Maisha Hines-Allen wasn't out there tonight. We'll worry about that later because when she comes back, that's another tool in Eric's cap. But I have to ask you this. Adela Don only had 13 points tonight. Now, some would say that she needs to get to that average that she's had over the past two games, which is 20 points. Does she need to do more on offense or is sharing more carry? No, Sharon is carrying. When I talked to Coach E before the game, he said he wanted more ball movement, and that's what they wanted in their half-court offense. At the end of the day, we're going to see a different Liberty team at the end of the season, Absolutely. and we're going to see a different Mystics team at the end of the season. Like you said, Heinz Allen is coming back, and EDD is just going to get better. She had 13 easy points tonight <laughs> with ease. She was, I think she enjoyed watching her players develop around her. Mm. And when she's on the court, she not only gives you buckets, but she elevates the offense of her other teammates. That's so you what saw it's that all tonight. about. Everybody has to come along. Shout out to EDD for being that team leader. Right now we've got head coach Eric Tebow in the post game locker room. Let's hear what he has to say about tonight's game. 